going to start off with this uh, with this E chord and this on 7th fret and we're going to move it down to the D and then the usual kind of A might be cool on a 12 string guitar to get that sort of sound but uh, um, I'm on a 6 string um, most of you probably are as well so uh, in which case I would suggest that we could root it on the D string play the D shape and uh, that's going to be our A um, you can also put this E in that's part of the chord as well makes uh, quite a good sound so we can go for Next thing we need to go for is well, remembering the fact that when it says uh, uh, down in my soul, it drops to a B. So, then we need to go on this little rundown. It goes from E to D, and then I'm going to suggest probably doing the B down here on the second fret. Simply because it's a nice easy way of getting down to the E for the next part. Then we want to go up to this C sharp minor. Then we want to go up for this. It's like an open style F, how we all start playing an F, like with the three fingers. Um, but we're going to play this on fifths. So it's an A, but you want to play the open style, leaves the fourth finger free. It's going to go up to the B. Cool. And that's that's pretty much the most of it for, for the rhythm section of it. Um, need to have a look at uh, lead guitar parts. Um, so this is going to be based on this E. The, the, the little refrain going underneath it is E. D, A, back to E. So, um, we, want, we want to play stuff that's going to fit on top of that nicely. Um, so the first thing I'm going to go for is um, a D shape, but I'm going to slide it up. So we're on the 4th fret, um, it turns it into a, to an E. So how we have this shape, it's kind of same thing down here but all we need of it is the G and the top E then we need to slide down back down to a D and then we go with an A then it's going to slide up into this little, little dyad, just a little two note uh, figure and it's second finger on fourth fret on the G, first finger goes on to the third fret of the B. And it does like a little stutter with it. Then it goes down to an A shape, but we only really need the G and the B. And then it does like a little riff. You might want to land on your first, because these used to go up. So kind of in context, right? Okay, so the, the second solo is pretty much based around this E minor pentatonic. I presume that most of us know that. We should... So, um, we want to slide up to this third fret and we want to get the sort of 12 string guitar sound. Um, so, I'm going to play the strings in unison. 
Oh, basically going to play the B and the E together. I'm going to go on to be minor pentatonic on E, um, pop it down to, to the D string, so I'm going to skip off this. To G, back on to D. to that little dyad we did. That's back on E minor pentatonic. And then it goes into this little linear um, way of playing, described linear as being lengthways, you know. Um, not so much going across the way but going up the way on the same same strings. So if you're playing a 12 string, um, then you're probably familiar that you know you'll be moving chords up and down like this to get to get your sounds. It just works nice, especially in solos. Um, so on this bit it goes. Bear in mind I'm playing unison again. I'm playing this B and the top A. Eh? So fifth. 7th, 3rd, 5th. Then to continue that unison, I'm going to keep this 2nd finger placed, 5th fret, and I'm going to play 3rd pull, 5th pull on the E string. So should. Back down onto that E minor pentatonic. I'm going to go back onto linear, going back up here. And then back onto me, me refrain, that uh, is the main sort of rhythm. So all together, should. That should get you through it. Uh, one final little thing: when you're finished with your over, um, when you finish with that final E, you could let the E ring out. And that's it. Rock on. Um, subscribe. Um, say hello. Whatever. Um,